Hello, I've made some, uh, a couple of purchases in the last couple of days, or yesterday actually, and I've got a package um, to show. Not been buying, not been buying too much actually. Um, I'm saving my money for something I'm looking out for on eBay that's not showing up. Well, it is showing up, but for whatever reason, the um, the prices are sky high. It's got like almost double, and God knows why. So I've been trying not to um, to fritter it away, and so to the point where I won't be able to afford afford this particular thing. I won't tell you what it is because uh, I'll look forward to um, I'll, I'll be look forward to uh, cracking it open and showing you if I ever get my hands on one. I'm not paying over the odds though. Being the miser that I am, yeah. Um, I haven't said that. I have made one or two purchases over the last few days, not too much, but they were no-brainers. Some of them were anyway. But before I start, I just want to show you someone, introduce you to someone. You know, he's uh, sulking at the moment. Just uh, re remove my camera from the tripod. Say hello. Just knocked over me a uh, me uh, speaker. Say hello to Git Face. <laughs> Where are you? Oi! Yeah, you Git Face. Looks like he's been fighting. Actually, you've been fighting. Yeah, we call him Git Face because that's what he is. <laughs> To us, he's a good-natured cat, you know, can have a laugh. To anyone else, any other cats, he's an absolute bastard. He's got many names, many derogatory names, but he's fully deserving of them all. Get Face, El Bastardo, um, Shitbag. <laughs> Actually, no, not so much that last one. But uh, I'd have to probably write you a list, because there's plenty. But that's him. Say hello. Oi! Yeah, you. What? You say, what? What do you want? Look into the camera. <laughs> do something. He's got, he's got a couple of tricks, actually. That, uh, one of these days I'm determined to film him doing on a... and uh, whack it on um, you being framed. And, and uh, let him earn his keep. But for some particular reason, he's sulking. That's his spot there. That's where he likes sleeping next to the, next to the window. But uh, yeah, that's enough of him. He's not that interesting anyway. Not as interesting as me. <laughs> that was nice. Nice in interlude. Uh. Yeah. Right. Stuff I've bought, stuff I've bought. Uh, I've been, um, so I've put my speaker back up, and I'm one I'm over. I've taken to, um, when I get the opportunity, on the other occasion I get the opportunity, a free day, spare day, I've taken to um, going to all manner of branches of computer exchange. <laughs> Generally, if, if I think they've got a copy of something that I want. And yesterday, uh, I realised this, this place isn't actually that far. I went to Walthamstow, home of E17. If any uh, any of you Brits remember E17, you know E17. I went to Walthamstow. and realised it's not actually that far for me. Which um, and uh, yeah, it's right. It's not too bad. I went to Computer Exchange. I was looking for a, um, a shooter, a shmup called Samurai Aces because they said they had a copy. And when I got there, they did have it, but it was knackered. It was <laughs> it was shocking. I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Just really sun faded and water damaged man, um, cover. Disgusting, disgusting it was. But I, I had a look around anyway, and I, I, I discovered that it's quite, um, it's quite a rich, it's quite a rich picking there, actually. I went into a game station, and they were just putting out their PS2 and PS1 games. 
and they had um, they had a copy of Raiden Project, and that's just like Jesus. I wouldn't I wouldn't expect to see that anywhere, but, um, but it was expensive. It's twenty quid, so I could probably get it on eBay for cheaper. Uh, yeah, so I, I did see one or two things. Um, I went into game, this is all on game, oh, what a monster hunter in game, in, in Walthamstone. Uh, monster hunter. Yeah, uh, I've got a monster hunter trying, you know, just after Christmas. And I checked out, after I got monster hunter trying, I'd not really, this never really been on my radar, this game. And I checked it out um, on YouTube, all the gameplay footage, and it looked pretty good. I, I, I think it's... It's probably more built for um, online play. I don't know what the, the single player campaign would be like. But it looked pretty good. But um, I know it's not got much of a fan base. This series hasn't got much of a fan base in the UK. The UK seems to be a bit funny like that. I know they, they go mad for it in Japan, don't they? But um, this was four ninety nine, and There were one or two other things, but... Um, I know it's worth more than four ninety nine, maybe double. So and, and that, that that always sways me. I mean, it makes it a no brainer if it's a game that I want and it's it's cheaper than it's actually worth. But um, yeah, it's a nice condition as well. Pleased with that. Uh, what's next? Yeah, I went on a whole tour of Walthamstow. They've got a nice uh, cash converters. Nearly spent a bit more in there, but no. Actually, that's one thing I wanted to say. I've noticed, like I, was, I was talking about um, this particular game that I was wanting to buy with some leftover Christmas money. And I'm, I'm conscious of not frittering it away. I've noticed that it's sky high, it's priced at sky high, but I've noticed other games are sky high as well. And um, I was looking for Tales of Symphonia on, um, on the Wii. I was looking on the Computer Exchange web, uh, website. And they didn't. Um, it was uh, there was no copies anywhere near me. But I just happened to happen to notice the price of Tales of Vesperia, and it, they're selling it for fifty quid, and you can get thirty seven pound exchange. I paid twenty four ninety nine for mine in HMV a few months ago, and at the time the going rate was about thirty five, thirty thirty five, and so it's computer exchange is selling it for fifty. Which, which was astounding to me. And um, I, I just happened to check eBay afterwards, and they regularly going for like 70 quid upwards. A sealed copy, sort of around about 90, if you've got a sealed copy of um, Towers of Vesperia. It's ridiculous. What was it? Is this post Christmas? I don't know. Is this post, post Christmas disposable income? I don't know. But well, I've got Tales of Vesperia, anyway, so it's <laughs> not a problem. But it seems to be it seems to be happening with other things. So maybe it's good to, if you've ever got if you've got things you want to sell. Maybe it's a good time to sell. Maybe prices are high. Maybe it's just certain games. But um, I'm just saying because this particular game I've been, I've been looking for has almost doubled, and I'm hoping it'll come down. But yeah, I didn't, didn't see anything more in um, in Walthamstow. Although I might may well go back one day. It's not too far. Made my way back to um, went to Wood Green, lovely place Wood Green, similar to Waltham side. And they've also got a game station, and um, went in there and uh, just checked around. And I know uh, it's Danix, it's X Danix, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's nice, isn't it? Um, has been doing his uh, buying up all his GameCube games, and he, he mentioned that someone had traded one in into a branch near him. A whole series of Resident Evil GameCube games, but they weren't there. They'd been transferred. I'm not saying they were transferred to here, but I did discover in this branch I went in a whole, <laughs> a whole uh, series of uh, Resident Evil GameCube games. Apart from Zero, it was Zero, yeah. They didn't have Zero, but what they did have, the prices were all over the shop for some reason. The, the, the more sort of. Uh, Difficult to get older ones were cheaper for some reason. The best one being Resident Evil 2 for $4.99. I, I, had, I didn't know how much this was worth until I bought it. 
It's a bad habit, actually, isn't it? Buying stuff and checking it out on eBay. It's not a good habit. I'm buying it for the game. It's just nice to... <laughs> it's nice to know I've got a bargain. It makes me smug. I like to sit in my in my smug with my smug little self and I've got a bargain. But, um, yeah. 4 And uh, by all accounts, it's a rare one. He was... I, uh, I mentioned it to him on his... X, it's X than X on his pickups video. And... He tried to force me to uh, go and buy it for him, but I'd already bought it myself. <laughs> I didn't mention to it to him. And I was thinking, I was, was feeling benevolent, but he started slagging off uh, Liverpool because he's an Everton supporter. And also, now it looks like Fernando Torres wants to leave. So I'm even feeling even less benevolent. Ben, ben, uh, benevolent. But so uh, I got Resident Evil 2 for 4 99 <laughs> Sorry about that. Along with it, uh, Nemesis also for four ninety nine. These are the two they they did have uh, Code Veronica X. That was tenner. I thought about it, but this is also four ninety nine. They're both complete. Something I want to mention: both complete, really nice condition. Discs are spotless. They don't have the little uh, Club Nintendo thing. Discs are spotless, and so are the cases. And I've just got lucky, but it's got the telltale. Oh, lovely! Telltale. <laughs> Smell the spine, especially. Mmm. Telltale smokers. Smokers signature. It's funny, really, because it sort of belies the condition that these are in. This person's obviously, um, obviously very conscientious about how they keep their games, but. Don't mind uh, chugging away around them to make them stink like an ashtray. But I think that will come out. Will it come out? Hopefully, will it come out? And I wanted to get um, I wanted to get uh, Earthworm Jim, Earthworm Jim on the Mega Drive, and I made the guy I made the guy force open the uh, force open the cases to see if they had manuals. But Earthworm Jim didn't have a manual, so I had to go and get something different, and I got. I've got a beautiful Joe too. And this also smells of smoke, so they've all obviously come from the same person. All really nice and condition, but all smell of smoke. This is a game that I've, I've wanted for a long time. Thought about buying the, the PS2 version, but I prefer the uh, the original um, format. But yeah, actually, something I want to know. Uh, I wanted to ask you. That's just popped into my head. That's something I did have ready to ask. Um, I've been uh, wanting to. I've been playing. Uh, Castlevania, the one I got Christmas, and also Sweet Code, and I've been mixing and matching my games and some uh, PS2 games as well. I've been playing quite a range of stuff, but I'm getting frustrated, especially with the PS1 games. I'm getting frustrated with the quality of the, the image on my LCD telly. I was wondering if anybody's got any uh, recommendations for uh, any uh, um, uh, a component cable or an RGB Skype cable or where I could get them from, you know. Or if they will actually make any difference whatsoever to the uh, the PS1 image, they should obviously. I think they should do on a PS2 image, but would that have the same effect on a PS1 image? I don't know. Would I be better off getting a, a CRT telly? Would that make all the difference? I don't know. If anyone knows, if anyone understands my question, <laughs> could they let me know? I'll be pretty grateful, very grateful. But yeah, uh, Resident Evil 2, 3, Beautiful Joe, and Monster Hunter from from yesterday. I'm pretty chuffed with those. Uh, that's about fifteen pound in all. Um, uh, last a few days ago, actually, a few days ago, uh, I ordered a game on Computer Exchange website. I took the gamble. It's always a gamble, isn't it? It was a gamble, but this particular game, they had it cheaper. They had it cheap than the eBay prices. So I thought it's worth a gamble. And I can always trade it in, or maybe, maybe I might even be able to take it back to my uh, local computer exchange. I suppose they might give me a refund. I don't know. But um, I took the gamble anyway, and it plopped through the door this morning. It didn't take any time at all. Surprising. Sometimes they do. And I ran downstairs like a little kid at Christmas. I picked it up and there's a telltale death rattle of um, a loose disc. So I was going to save this parcel 
so open on camera, but I had to I had to perform uh, emergency surgery and extricate the loose disc from the disaster zone. So hence it's open. You see a little, ooh, bit of blue there. Yeah, give away, it's a PS2 game. And it is Ease, the Ark of Napistin. Who is it decided it's pronounced Ease? Somebody, can anybody tell me who it was who decided that? Because I've always called it Wise, but recently I've heard people refer to it to as Ease. I mean, there's no reason why it should be either, but Wise sounds a bit clunky, Ease sounds a bit pretentious. I think it's quite a pretentious <laughs> title to go anyway, isn't it? But yeah, it came through, had a loose disc, so um, I had to perform emergency surgery, as I said. Opened it up. No man, well. Check the disc. I don't think it, this is a disc shot to shit, but it works, it works, but it's knackered, it's really badly scratched. If I'd seen that in the shop, I probably would have um, passed on that. I don't think you'll see that, no, you won't see that, but um, I would have, maybe would have passed on it, but I can always get it repaired or cleaned. As I said, it works, so it's just, it's just, um, it's just whether or not that sits well with me, the, the scratched disc, just my aesthetic sense. But no manual either. But I'm not too pissed off. I, I mean, I can always hold out for another copy, if I ever see one, and swap it over and trade it or sell it. So, yeah, that's not too bad. I was going to have a bit of a rant, but I'm over 16 minutes. It was a rant of. No, it's an interest. <laughs> Aborted rant. Abort rant. Abort rant. Abort rant. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm sure there wasn't. Um, Sorry there wasn't more to this video other than those pickups and my stories of my travels. I may, I may, do, a, I may do a regular um, my travels around computer exchange branches of London series of videos to exotic places. But maybe not. I might, I don't know. Yeah, so enough ram uh, rambling. Um, thanks for watching. Come back very soon, thanks. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm having problems with my, my email inbox. It's playing silly buggers. So if anybody's subscribed to me or left a message and I've not got back to you yet, I apologize for that. It's, uh, um, I'm trying to sort of get around it by, you know, reading sort of directly the comments rather than relying on my, on my emails. So apologies if I haven't got back to you straight away. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, come up very soon, and uh, thanks for any, any new subscribers that I haven't yet thanked. Thanks for watching, come back very soon for the third time. See you later. Adios. Bye. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I just signed off, and I remembered what, um, one of the main purposes of the video. I'm going to make this quick, because otherwise the video's going to be bloody which is really long. Um, I've ordered a game from... Uh, a guy on um, eBay from France. Um, it's I bought a Dragon Blaze, the PS2 shooter, but he he gets them in brand new and they're all English. They all they all have um, English artwork, English manuals, some English box you know box covers. So and they're all brand new sealed and he gets them in and um, he's selling them off really cheap. He's he's got uh, he sells a range of. Um, Quite difficult to get hold of PS2 shooters. I hesitate to say rare because you know it's overused in a cliche, but um, difficult to get hold of PS2 shooters. He has Soul Divide, um, Samurai Aces, um, Tengai, and um, and Dragon Blaze, and he's got a whole new batch in at the moment. And he started the auction off last week, and it's just a couple of days to go, and he. Slice the prices by fiver, so they're nine ninety nine with two pounds shipping. So I think the, the auction ends in a sort of um, in a couple of days. Just to, I've, I've made this make, mistake before because he did have them for sale a few months ago, and I bided my time hoping for some reason that the price might come down, but it never did. And then he never re relisted them, and. Um, I've been waiting ever since, so I sort of jumped at the chance when I was when um, they, he relisted them, and then, then the price came down. But for anybody who's after those four uh, quite difficult to get hold of PS2 shooters, 
Um, he's now got a whole fresh new batch on eBay at the moment. The auction should be ending soon and he might release them, I don't know. Just just the, just the heads up. But, um, because I did try to deal with him before, I tried to buy him, buy one individually and he would only deal with deal in bulk. You know, had this whole sort of battles and forwards thing and he kept signing off with voila. <laughs> it was created a whole image in my head of this guy at the other end saying voila. I won't, I won't do, I won't do a French investment. That, that could, that could go drastically wrong. But again, thanks for watching. That's about four times now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.